show I know of where citizens are the celebrities and we're independent fans, yeah, you could take a stand. I am in the offices of Arts Wave this morning. I'm feeling it. <laughs> With me are two members of Team Arts Wave. I have Miss Daphne and Miss Rebecca. We're going to talk about Arts Wave, the campaign, what's going on, and how you can get involved. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'm oh so excited to have the opportunity to talk with you about Arts Wave and how it's changing the community one person at a time. Mm. If someone could please give us a little bit of introduction of Arts Wave, who they are. Sure. Uh, Arts Wave, uh, formerly known as the Fine Arts Fund, yes, supports and collaborates with more than 100 arts organizations all over the community and all over the region, from Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra to Elements Hip Hop Center for Youth. Mm -hmm. um, we think the arts bring people together in really unique ways to share experiences and ideas. We also think the arts make our neighborhoods more lively, vibrant, attractive places that keep businesses open and restaurants thriving. Um, and that's what we are trying to do in the community by supporting the arts. I can also testify to that. <laughs> I've been a fan for a long time, and the legacy that Arts Wave has is just, in a word, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Daphne, tell us how you got involved with Arts Wave. Okay. Um, before I came to Arts Wave, I was at the Taft Museum of Art as their Duncan Center Arts and Residence Program. That's what I'm saying. Wow. That is a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're, Rewind, I learned about Public Allies um, maybe about five or six years ago. Okay. So fast forward, uh, this um, year as the TAF um, Duncanson Program Coordinator, it ended, the uh, term that ended, so I'm like, how can I um, keep my position here and participate in the Public Ally Program? Because that's a 10 month apprenticeship to where they train young professionals in leadership development by placing us at different nonprofits. Ding, 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 um, so I met with Lisa Walter and Heather Hallenberg, who work here at Arts Wave. That's my son who's in at the Taft Museum. And they were able to kind of create a position here at Arts Wave for me to kind of come on and help with some community engagement and diversity and inclusion so that I could keep my position at Public Outlast yeah. and come on to Arts Wave and learn about the arts and help with their uh, diversity and inclusion and just enjoy the arts. And, so, a perfect example yeah. of how Arts Wave incorporates sort of the arts and community mm -hmm. perfectly. It was a match made in Cincinnati, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> so that's exciting. Yeah. Um, I'm a huge fan of not only Arts Wave, but of the Taft Museum as well as um, Public Allies. Mm -hmm. And so it's just another example of how you know, when community works together to resolve complicated issues within a community, mm -hmm. it's a beautiful thing, the results, sometimes. And it so is. you were able to come here mm -hmm. and find a position that allows you to, um, I guess, maximize your strengths, because mm -hmm. you, I know you personally. Mm -hmm. I know you are an amazing individual. And, um, <laughs> and so it's great to see that you have partnered with an mm -hmm. organization and allow you to meet another one. Um, through Arts Wave. And yes. so there's a campaign going on right now. That's Can we right. talk a little bit about the campaign and how folks can get involved? Absolutely. Our annual community campaign runs from February through April 25th. Okay. And that's where we ask thousands of individuals, more than almost 40,000 people came yeah. last year. They give what they can. We put all of that money together. We're trying to raise $11.2 million wow. for the arts. And then we distribute that money to more than 100 organizations, large and small, right. dance, music, theater, and they go out to the community and make the community a great place for everybody to live. So if you're interested, you can always go to our website, definitely, which is theartswave.org, and uh, you can give there. You can also give through Facebook. Uh, we have a tool called Razu that we're using there. Okay. You can even make a text to give kind of gift. Wow. We've got all of that information on our website. I think that is amazing. You guys are not only tapped in to the tradition of the arts here in Cincinnati, but also to the new technology. Facebook, Twitter, yeah. just a wave. 
<laughs> Can we give some examples of what other types of organizations you were talking about, large as well as small? And so talk about some of the folks that you've helped through Mars with. Sure. Um, I think of the Clifton Cultural Arts Center. I um, want to know to the Clifton Arts Center. <laughs> Seriously. They're amazing. Um, so they've been renovating that amazing school space, and they've provided all sorts of arts community classes, places where people can come take classes in art, theater, yoga. Wow. Um, they also bring in a lot of the larger arts organizations, like Cincinnati Playhouse and the Park. They bring in local musicians to do performances there. So folks who may not want to travel downtown exactly. to see a performance can see something right in their neighborhood. It's close, it's easy for family, it's less expensive. That's the type of organization we love. There are more than 20 community art centers now throughout our region. Wow. And we've been working with them as a network, hooking them into the larger arts groups like Cincinnati Ballet, Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra, Cincinnati Shakespeare Company, bringing some of their program out into the regional community. Oh, um, so finding those ways for the large organizations, the small organizations to collaborate and connect is really important to us. Oh, that's awesome. And Daph, what are some of the things that you recognize on a daily basis that make you excited about being involved in such a, a large organization? Um, one thing that I always like large to point out, sorry. Okay. Uh, the only thing I always like to point out again is the the what is worthy of film premiere that we had back in February. Um, we, like I said, premiered the film, which was What is Radius? Mm -hmm. And it's a story about us, this guy that was in a superhero, going through the city doing all these things, and um, at the end of the video, he realized that he had been radius all the time. <laughs> 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 Genius. <laughs> uh, he realized that he had been radius all the time because we all are superheroes in the community because we all have the power to make changes and to, um, you know, take the initiative. So at the event, it was nice to see um, people that I probably would never have met to sit down at a table and make these beer cozies with each other. So we were sitting there, you know, can I borrow your scissors? <laughs> can you help me with this? Can you help me stitch this? And I just thought that was beautiful. Yeah. 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 So that has really stuck out. One of, one of the things True. that has stuck out to me since I've been here, just with the whole um, our sway whole model about connecting community. Yeah. That is so true. I think there is no better testimony than someone, the folks that are in the trenches kind of every day mm -hmm. living the mission that an organization creates. And so mm -hmm. I love that you guys are amazing ambassadors, if you will, mm -hmm. for Arts Wave. It makes me proud to say, not only am I a fan, officially, but also a supporter. Again, let's talk about how folks can get involved, what's coming up soon, so that if you want to get a taste of what's art, what Art Waves has to offer, sure. not only can you go to Clifton, Cultural Arts Center, but what else is coming up? We've got a special event coming up April 21st, which is a Saturday. It's okay. a bonus Macy's Art Center. I love a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's sort of a warm-up for the World Choir Games. Oh. It's, a, it's the big sampler sing-along. Yes. Uh, we're having, we're starting with a sing-along and a community meal, kind of like the traditional German Sommerfest from Cincinnati's history, where people would get together at the big long tables, they'd eat bratwurst and drink beer and so sing songs. So Cincinnati Yes, yeah, <laughs> this is hot dogs and root beer, because okay. it's <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hot dogs, root beer, singing, you know, take me out to the ball game and stuff nice. like that. And then we'll go upstairs, this is all Pleasant Ridge Presbyterian Community Church. Okay. And, uh, we would have six great choirs coming in that uh, included like the Greater Cincinnati Indian Choir, the Young Professionals Choral Collective, the Cincinnati Men's Chorus, and then the May Festival Chorus, the May Festival Youth Chorus, um, as well as the church choir there itself, the Pleasant Ridge Presbyterian Church Choir. Yeah. So it's two hours of great choral music all across the spectrum and a chance to really get a sense of what the World Choir Games is going to be like in terms mm -hmm. of that amazing festival of music that's coming here in July. I am oh so excited for both now mm -hmm. to know that we have, again, we always seem to be, this community seems to be, especially the arts community in my opinion, is always just ahead of the curve. It just always mm -hmm. has this um, ingenuity or this initiative to kind of lead by example. It makes me proud to say, again, I'm an official fan. <laughs> um, can we talk again about where folks can go, the website, 
um, some information about, again, opportunities. Do you guys offer volunteer opportunities? We do, actually. If you're interested in volunteering with the arts, uh, you can sign up through our website to be on our volunteer list. And Somebody needs help stuffing yeah. some envelopes or painting a set or uh, putting up posters, yeah. you know, things like that. Arts, arts groups really need volunteers to help get all of those sort of day-to-day -day activities going too. Yeah. And also to point out job opportunities. We oh, have job opportunities for, um, well not all the arts organizations, but a yeah. lot of the arts yeah. organizations. So, and that's how I found my position at the tech. <laughs> <laughs> so that's very, very, very helpful tool. And because of you, Jay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. of being introduced through to the then Fine Arts, Fine Now Arts Way through Ink Tank. And I love how we seem to, again, set a standard. How easily it can be done for different organizations to work together successfully and create the magic that only arts can. Um, and the name change says the positive direction, the progressive direction. Yeah. These ladies convinced me of that. I was used to Fine Arts Fun, and now I understand. Through example, you've shown me why folks need to literally catch the wave. Yeah, and you know, it's it's a name change we made because we don't just support the fine arts. Exactly. We support all kinds of arts yes. because we believe the more types of arts we have in the community, the more people participate, yes. the better for everyone. Yeah. But we also, we don't just fund, you know, one of the critical things we do is support organizations in becoming stronger organizations, wow. offering workshops, training, board recruitment, yes. the kind of things that make them more sustainable, more efficient, more productive, so that every dollar you're giving to ArtsWave, you know that it's going to organizations who are getting the most out of every dollar. It's beautiful. It's Jay all day. We just had a little community church up in here, but I am oh so excited to be able to bring that to you. I have to thank Ms. Dan, as well as Ms. Rebecca, Team Arts Wave. This is Cincinnati's Conscience. The only question we have left is, are you turned on? I hope so.